Welcome back to Briggs on Books, our international talk show. We've been talking to authors today uh, from England, United Kingdom, from Wales, and from Scotland, all in one day. I think they're all on one, the same island. They share the same island. It's a weird coincidence we had all of them uh, the same day. Are you trying to pick the next book you're going to read? Because I've got one for you right here, Silken Waters. It came out recently from an author we've had on several times. By the way, not only do I have the book here, I also have the author, if I can find her, there she is. Welcome, Leslie Lee, uh, author. She's a local, a live guest in our studio. This is very fun. Um, a local author. Uh, s tell us about the book, a little bit about this book. Yeah, so Silken Waters is a sequel. Um, it is part two in a hopefully trilogy. Um, takes place in the fictional world called, known as the Veil, which kind of exists. Um, alongside our world, you can go back and forth between the human world. Here's your world. last book. Wasn't it also set there? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so that would be, Child of Dawn would be the first book in the series. We're okay. calling the series Legend of the Veil. Okay, Legend of the Veil. Now, um, so this one is your newer one. Do we have to read them in order? You don't have to. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it is helpful, but you can pick up Silk and Waters, and there's enough information regarding the things that happened in the first book for you to be able to read the second one by itself. Now, uh, let me ask you about this, because it's amazing that you, people can do this. It's a fantasy, yes. and it's written in a realm that doesn't really exist, Yes. and you've got to keep track of all this stuff when yes. you're writing. Yes, and that, that, for this book in particular, was a challenge, because I had to constantly go back and make sure I wasn't changing um, the history or the facts from the first book, making sure I had the characters right, did what I think happened, happened. So yeah, it's definitely a challenge. And, and creating the whole, I guess, existence of the characters right. as well is, is Developing their characters. Yes, yeah. exactly, because well, they're not real. <laughs> yeah, regarding your process, do you use any like a spreadsheets or anything to track all this stuff? Or? So <laughs> Yeah, so this one, um, my, my office is in my closet. Mm -hmm. and so Literally in the closet. Literally in the closet, yes. And so um, there are pictures everywhere with the, the names of the characters and a couple of characteristics listed. There is um, kind of like the, the brief history of the veil um, printed out. There's a map, um, which I, no, I wasn't nice. planning on having to do, but because this involves um, sailing and pirate ships mm -hmm. in the ocean and what, what I kind of realized that I needed to know where my people were going. Any <laughs> dragons? Not yet. Not yet. Who knows? But stay tuned for yeah. book three. <laughs> now, yeah, and I guess it's, you rely a lot on your memory. Yeah, yeah. Which the older you get, the more challenging. I was going to say, wait to <laughs> <you> get <laughs> my <age. laughs> that, that is. <laughs> See if you can count on that. So, you want to start a little bit from the beginning? Uh, Child of Dawn? Yeah, so Child of Dawn, again, it takes place in the Vale, and the Vale is a world that is ruled in part by a race of vampire and in part a race of elves, and um, as you might guess, they don't like each other, they're very different mm -hmm. types of well, creatures. Well, vampires and elves, of exactly. course, they wouldn't Exactly, so one loves the light, one loves the dark, and mm -hmm. so they have been at war for a millennia, um, and their, their warring is causing the Vale um, to physically die. Okay. And so in the first book, uh, t the two main characters kind of there, they set off on a quest to save the veil, um, to complete a series of tasks in order to, to put everybody at peace. And at the end of Child of Dawn, there is a temporary truce that happens, and that's where Silken Waters picks up. Um, in the second book, you, um, you have a faction of vampire pirates. Mm who um, come back to port to find that they're no longer permitted by law on both sides, both the vampire and elf side, to be pirates, basically. Hmm. And so they are kind of faced with this crisis. They've, the pirates, have that's all they've done. They, they were raised from boys to be, to be pirates, and so what do they do? That's all they know. It's all they know. Yeah. And so the, the second book is kind of about, you know, what do you do when you're faced with being denied your identity, um, and kind of the, the the series of events that goes along with their quest to to maintain their right to be pirates. Now these are the genre of fantasy, but you've done some like a uh, historical fiction. Yes, a couple yes. of them. Yeah, I've done two historical fiction. One set in during um, the potato famine in Ireland, and then one set in the late 1800s in Maine. Yeah, I talked to you about writing fantasy. How much work that is. 
historical fiction, do you have a lot of research to do? Yes. Um, thank goodness for the internet. Yeah. Be uh, because I know, like, when I wrote my first, my first novel, which was historical fiction, um, the internet was just kind of becoming a thing. I'm dating myself. <laughs> um, but I, so I, I did a lot of book research with that one, and that's more challenging. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to find what you need and whatnot. But with the internet, you know, you can just go online. Yep. Fact check, always fact check, but it's been much easier um, as, you know, there's more information provided yeah. to, to do stuff and like that. And you have a children's book too? Yes, so I wrote a children's book. Um, I'm adopted and I have um, a brother that's adopted and then I have a niece and nephew that are adopted. Mm. And so I kind of came up with this children's book that involved this little girl living in an orphanage and all she wants to be is adopted. Mm -hmm. um, and so through the course of a year, she kind of has imaginary conversations with like the Easter Bunny and Tom Turkey oh, wow. um, and eventually Santa Claus. And it's the story of kind of like how, like from a child's perspective waiting to be adopted, what it's like. Now I have your web address on the screen. Um, Leslie, you can't see it. It's Les okay. It's LeslieAnnLee.com? <laughs> yes, there you go. It's my name. Yeah, www.LeslieAnnLee.com. What will we find there? You will find all my all my books. Um, there's a link connected through the website to Amazon to purchase them. Um, most of them are in paperback or ebook. Child of Dawn is actually in hardcover as well. If you want to get the hardcover of that, um, I have a blog up there, um, which kind of deals more with um, um, like religious perspectives of various topics and whatnot. Um, a few essays and articles that I've I've published. Um, an all about me section, and then if you're if you're like really interested in me, you can um, follow along and local events that are occurring regarding my writing. Um, I post there. Very as well. nice. Very yeah. nice. Now, uh, big question: uh, Is this series done? Is there no, another book coming? It is not done. So actually, Child of Dawn was supposed to be a one-off. There was never supposed to be a sequel or a series. Um, feedback from people was like, you know, where. When, when are we, we going to find more. out what we happens? More, yeah. We want more. So um, I wrote the second one, and then the, the second one kind of evolved into, well, we need to have three. So sometime next year, the third one will be done, and that will involve dragons. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Spo now, can you see this as a movie, a series? Oh, please. I actually wrote the screenplay for Child of Dawn last um, early spring, um, and that's kind of been shopped around. Uh, to people, and then um, at some point, when like the hype dies down from Silk and Waters, I'll do a screenplay for that one. Nice. So, well, you know, available. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the uh, 30, 40 years ago, which isn't that long ago, uh, you, you wouldn't have these books out at all. No. People, absolutely all these not. books we have out, would, now people could publish books. Same with uh, uh, music. You used to have to get a record producer yep. and produce a record. And, but now you get your music out there and, and you get your books out there. Now, Netflix and Prime and Max. There's so many more places to get movies made yes, that yes. people that who would never would have had a chance are getting uh, yes, movies made. Exactly. So, so there's a chance to do that. Yeah. I, so fingers crossed. Whoever's watching, can Please. you hear us? <laughs> yes. And there's a lot of local talent too, like yeah. a lot of you know great local filmmakers. There so are. Just there saying, really are. I'm available. Now, do you know when the third book will be out? Um, I'm planning. I usually um, kind of don't write a lot during the holidays because it's just insanity. Yeah. Um, so usually I start writing um, January. I'll start outlining and then the goal is always to have it done by fall. By fall. So by, Before by fall the holidays, next yeah. year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, we're way past time. They're <laughs> signaling me. Uh, any last thoughts on these books? On Anything in the world you want to say? Anything in the world. Yeah. Thank you so much for having My me. Pleasure. It's a pleasure to be in studio. And uh, yeah, um, I'm available. Come buy my book and make my movie. Yes, I will say <laughs> this. I always give the authors the last chance. So I'll say, buy the book, buy the book. <laughs> By the way, don't go. They're on Amazon and all those places. On Amazon, and yeah. Don't go and click one time. Click five times. Absolutely. Order five. You know, I always have to go to people's houses for dinner and stuff, and I always want to take a gift. So I yes. get a bottle of wine. But that's why I order five books at a time. Absolutely. I want everybody to be reading what I'm reading. Absolutely. Way, so. Yes. No, Christmas is coming. <laughs> Christmas is coming. And uh, I just want to show both of these books at once if I have that skill. Maybe I do not. There you go. That one and that one. And our guest is author Leslie Lee. Go to leslieannlee.com and check her out. But most of all, order her books. 
And don't go anywhere because we're going to be right back with another author right after this.